Over the last 20 years, the zebrafish has become a powerful model organism for understanding vertebrate development and disease. Although the morphology of the embryo and larva has been well documented, descriptions of adult zebrafish anatomy and techniques for working with adults are lacking. Mary Mullins's lab at the University of Pennsylvania studies gonad development and routinely dissects ovaries and testes from adult fish. This protocol demonstrates dissection of the gonads as well as identification and dissection of the other major organ systems. To begin, a fish is anesthetized and euthanized, and then pinned to a dissecting mat. The skin and underlying muscle are removed from the fish to expose the heart, liver, intestine, gonad, and swim bladder. The internal organs are removed from the body cavity for further examination or experimentation. Tripti Gupta from the laboratory of Mary Mullins in the Cell and Developmental Biology Department at the University of Pennsylvania will identify many of the organs of the adult and demonstrate how to dissect them from an adult zebrafish. For clarity and ease of dissection, the testes, gastrointestinal system, and kidney will be dissected from a male zebrafish, and then the ovaries, heart, and brain will be dissected from a female. To reduce the amount of food in the intestine, do not feed the fish the day prior to the dissection. A male zebrafish will be dissected first. You will need a dissecting mat, vanus spring scissors, forceps, dissecting pins, a dish of PBS, and a fish that has been anesthetized and euthanized. Lightly pat the fish dry on a paper towel and place it on its side on a dissecting mat. Zebrafish have single dorsal, caudal, and anal fins and paired pelvic and pectoral fins. Use dissecting pins to pin the fish to the dissecting mat through the fleshy part of the tail and the ventral part of the eye.